Hello, I'm Dr. Krishna Chaitanya. I'm a vascular and endovascular surgeon here at RV Astor Hospital. I'm going to talk to you about varicose veins, one of the commonest problems faced by humanity. People ask me as to why do we get varicose veins. Varicosities are supposed to be a penalty imposed on humanity for standing erect against gravity. Now what this sentence says is that as we are human beings, it's our nature or our attitude that we stand on two legs or we sit with two legs hanging down. So naturally varicose vein is the commonest problem faced by humanity. Why do I get varicose veins? We get varicose veins probably because of being overweight, a sedentary occupation, an occupation which requires standing for long hours, occupation which requires lifting of heavy weights or heavy workout. These are some of the factors which lead to varicose veins. However, most women are affected by varicose veins. The changes in the hormones, hormonal tablets, or due to uh, the multiple pregnancies, women are naturally more predisposed to develop varicose veins. How do I know if you have varicose veins? You know varicose veins when you have prominent veins in your legs. These veins are more than 2 or 3 mm in diameter. They are bulged and they are tortuous. Most often, people with severe varicose veins also have a little bit of dark pigmentation in the skin around their feet and ankle. How do I test how severe is my varicose veins? You can always consult your vascular surgeon who would suggest a Doppler scanning for you. In a Doppler test, we assess the severity of varicose veins, the pattern of flow in these varicose veins. We basically look at what is the severity of damage and depending on this damage, we will suggest the appropriate treatment suitable for you. How do we treat varicose veins? We can treat them with medicines, we can treat them with compression stockings, we can treat them with lasers, radiofrequency ablations, mechanico-chemical ablations, glue obliterations or with sclerotherapy. But depending on your condition, your vascular surgeon will be able to suggest you what is the most appropriate treatment for varicose veins. What would happen if you wouldn't get treated? Now varicose veins, I would say, is a problem with your quality of life and not quantity of life. You do not have to worry much about varicose veins because quality is not because of the condition we suffer but because of the decisions we make. So a person with varicose veins tend to develop progressive skin problems around his ankle and feet. It might increase to an extent where there could be wounds which fail to heal even weeks or months or sometimes even years. It is always suggested that it is better to treat varicose veins in a much less severe stage than to take it to a stage where it progresses to formation of a wound which fails to heal. What if I have been diagnosed as varicose veins? What if you have done a Doppler scan? And as per the Doppler scan, your doctor suggests treatment. What is the appropriate treatment? The social media is abust with multiple options for treatment of varicose veins. But what is the right treatment of varicose veins? Please meet your vascular surgeon because your vascular surgeon will be able to appropriately decide what is the most suitable option for you. He can treat you with medications. He can treat you with lasers. He can treat you with radiofrequency or other medications. Here at Aster RV Hospital, we treat our patients with a variety of treatment procedures like uh, uh, medical management, laser ablations, radiofrequency ablations, glue obliterations, mechanico-chemical ablations, sclerotherapy and microfluvectomy. Do consult us to know your problem and what is the right treatment option available for you.